the previous video, we talked about uh, cutting 45 degrees using just your table saw and your miter gauge. Now, on this video, it's time to put it to work. So we're going to make us a uh, eight miter splined picture frame. This is a technique I've used for years just to knock out a quick, uh, attractive and inexpensive uh, picture frame. Technique can be used for uh, any kind of a joints like this though. Uh, let's get started. Of course, it's always a good time to start every project using that joiner. It's especially true with this uh, project because of uh, the poor quality of material I'm using. Real inexpensive two by two fur. So once my uh, stock has been uh, jointed, I uh, rough cut four pieces over length and then cut a 45 degree on the end of each one. So this is where my uh, miter gauge extension with the adjustable stop block kicks in. I'm going to set this to the uh, length of pieces that I want. Once it's set, I can do as many pieces as I need over and over and over. So now I'll just quickly test and see my fits, see if the joints look good. I'll tape them up. Yeah, looking real good right now. I'm going to go ahead and glue these up. Uh, no metal fasteners, just glue it up for now. And we'll take it from there. So what's going to really add the strength to these uh, corners is I'm going to put a spline in each one of them. So I'll need to cut some thin strips uh, match the thickness of the saw blade. So that's why I'm using my uh, ZCI that I showed you how to build in an earlier video. So I'm taking my time to measure this out. I want these splines to be as close as I can get them. Uh, if anything, it's uh, nice to make me a little proud because you can sand them to the right thickness. So here's my spline material. I'll now cut uh, four pieces to the length that I need. So while I was cutting the uh, spline material, that gave the uh, frames a chance to dry up, the glue in the corners there, so I'm just uh, sanding them up again a little bit. So I've got the disc sander set up. As soon as I um, sharpen my pencil here, I'm gonna mark out some uh, lengths of a uh, um, quarter inch by three eighths inch wide strips that I had ripped. These are very important for the, uh, the, the frame itself. These need to be uh, put at 45 degree angles too, but it's so fine, I like to use the disc sander to actually do the, uh, the 45s for me. This becomes the uh, inside of the frame. So I've uh, glued the uh, thin strips on the inside of the frame now. I'll let that set up and look at the corners on there. They look really good too. So my little strips here are all glued in. Look good. I've sanded it up one last time or another time. But if you want to make these things a little bit stronger and at the same time even classier, let me show you something here. This is a quick little jig that I made. These pieces here are actually scraps from the, the material I used here. These are already cut at 45 degrees. I just glued it onto a scrap board. This is gonna become a splining jig. Say, so if you wanna get real fancy, start splining some of those corners. This is good for frames and boxes, whatever it might be. If you're gonna do a lot of frames, might wanna make a little more proper jig. Some good stuff on YouTube that shows you how to do that. But let's go ahead and spline this. Now the nice thing is, <laughs> my uh, jig pieces are the same dimensions, of course, same material as the frame here itself. So what I'm trying to do is center, or close to center, my spline right down the center of these pieces right here. And I cut some spline material earlier. This is eighth inch because I'm using an eighth inch blade. So this is the 
the width. I'm going to set my height of the blade to match that. I think see we're uh, going to be cutting that groove for the spline right down the center there, or at least close to it. Looks good. So you can see I've gone ahead and clamped the uh, frame to the jig. That'll just hold it in position better. Now it's just a matter of passing all uh, four corners over the blade. Take your time with this. You rotate it. Do it again. So now it's just a matter of dropping some glue down those slots. Letting it soak down in there. A brush would be helpful. And you slide these in. Okay. So I'll set this aside and let those splines uh, dry. Once they are, just a matter of uh, carefully trimming them up slowly. Uh, try and get as close to the frame as possible, but of course you want to be careful not to hit the frame itself. And then we'll sand. Once all the spline material has been uh, trimmed, time to go back to sanding. So there you have it, one frame, all splined and sanded, ready for finish. So I was really pleased with how well the uh, splines turned out, real clean, sharp, no cracks. More importantly, all eight miters are perfect, done again with just the miter gauge and the table saw. I gave the frame about... Uh, Four coats of a spray uh, clear gloss, semi-gloss uh, urethane. Seal this up a little bit. Now it's a matter of uh, putting the artwork together. That usually starts with a piece of glass or plexiglass even, followed by a mat. The artwork itself. And some kind of a dust cover. I use cardboard, that's the final piece. What holds it all together are just simple uh, glazer points. You can get these glazer points in different uh, sizes for this uh, smaller project. I'm just using these little ones and it's just a matter of pushing them right into the frame. This one won't need more than four to hold it all into position. And there we have it, our eight miter splined picture frame using just the table saw. That's the way to create beautiful art. I'm Mike Young, and this is Today's Shopsmith.